Hi, I'm Danielle. So I'm going to talk about my experience with Rhythmia and um, Joe's just gonna ask me some questions to keep it a little bit more engaging here. Yeah. All right, so the first question I have is why you came back to Rhythmia? The first time I came to Rhythmia, um, I had really specific intentions and I worked out so many and so much more comes up through your journey that you don't even know is a thing, <laughs> which is amazing because you know what's gonna come up is what needs to come out. And so the first time, you know, was amazing. The second time, things came out that I never expected. Um, and then the third calling, I was really called to come back. It was a really strong feeling like I, it was just something building up inside my chest. And I told Joe, like, I need to go back. Um, you know, if you want to go, cool. If not, I get it. But I need to go back. There's something coming up. And I just feel like this. I'm not complete. I'm not whole. There's just something missing. And in this experience of coming back the third time, it was wild. It's, you know, the first two times coming, it was that onion being peeled back. And then this time I went so much deeper. It was unreal. And realizing like this cloud over me was a lot of my um, ancestry. You know, mental illness runs in my family. So schizophrenia, bipolar, all this different stuff. And um, a lot more than that, but we'll keep it short here. And so all of this was, was that cloud and the worry that I'm going to have these things or things are going to happen, um, mm. you know, where unfortunately that may happen with me. So, um, anyways, I decided to come back because I, I needed something. I felt like I was missing something. And I'm like, why not? You know, the opportunities here, um, I don't want to wait another five years in hoping that it's going to get better. Something's going to happen. I'd rather just rip the bandaid off and be, you know, push myself into an uncomfortable position to just, you know, work on, work on yourself. And yeah. Awesome. Um, the next question is what was the experience like this time? So is there anything that really stands out as like a peak experience or something that you want to share that, was different maybe than other times? So um, I did ramble on a little bit on the first one that it did come up as my ancestry, which I had no clue. Who would even think that? But it was a thing. It came up. It was the second day that it came up. And then the, later in the night, it also came up that, um, you know, I had an issue with trusting, which I kind of always knew, but I realized how bad that was. And that I also didn't really trust women. Um, you know, I had we all have unique upbringings and it was kind of instilled at me at a young age that not can you really trust anyone, but you really can't trust women. And it's crazy because I have some amazing girlfriends, you know, but everyone was at arms, arm's length distance. I trusted you this much, or I did trust you this much. And the third night, the woman's night, it just was love, amazing, I mean, absolutely amazing. It's giving me goosebumps um, on just realizing that, you know, these are my sisters. We're all here together. They're not out here to get me. And that was just an experience, you know, the things growing up, that was their stuff. That wasn't mine. So realizing that, you know, realizing that was groundbreaking for me. Yeah. Awesome. Would you come back? I think we know the answer yeah, to that. Absolutely. <laughs> We're already talking like, all right, so should we wait like six months or a year? <laughs> <laughs> Four months later. Yeah. We're doing it again. Yeah. That's about right. Yeah. Um, who would you recommend come to Rhythmia? Personally, I recommend somebody that you feel something inside of you calling. Something you feel like there is, there's something that you want to open up maybe something missing like i felt like something was missing i i had told joe for years i felt like i just wasn't being me and i don't know how to break out of this i'm stuck like i just felt so stuck and i'm personally not a traditional therapy person i don't want to go to a therapist for 30 years for them to ask me how do i feel about that and i'm not a type of person that's going to open up cry and talk to a perfect stranger that's just not who i am and I'm not, I had not been an emotional person, this person, I, or this week, I've been crying like every single day, all day, and it was tears of joy. So it's all beautiful. Um, but being pushed out of 
my comfort zone was why I chose this. Cause I knew like, all right, you know, the medicine's going to take you where it needs to take you. Just sit back, trust. And that's it. Awesome. Did you get your miracle? I did get my miracle. <laughs> it was incredible. Like I thought I got it on Tuesday, which I did. And then Wednesday more. And then Thursday just really took it home. And then Friday during breath work, I wasn't going to go because I had, it was just a really long night on Thursday and my stomach had hurt a little bit from my experience. Um, not medicine, but my actual experience through the night. It was crazy <laughs> in the best way. But um, yeah, on Friday night during breath work and just, I had a massive release. I mean, within five minutes, I'm just, I'm having, I'm crying, I'm letting go. And it was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for sharing.